Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Sleeping Dogs. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series as much as I do. And if you guys are, please do drop a like because it does help the series out a lot. But anyways, let's continue from where we left off here. Let's go get that bug equipment from the electronic shop. Boy, Anguala, can I help you with something? Yeah. Are you Ping? <laughs> no. There is no Ping. <laughs> how about the owner then? I'm the owner. Just not Ping. <laughs> All right, not ping. I'm picking up hardware for Orange Lotus. You know it? Orange Lotus? Sure. This is some pretty sophisticated stuff. Sure you can handle it? I'll manage. My number's on the package. You need a hand getting slot X into socket Y? Give me a call. So not ping is the, um, uh, is the third girlfriend that's in the game. There's like five in total. Um, I got it. Now this part, this is so random. Like, you just, uh, yeah, like this, I remember this. You literally just exited the electronics store, and this guy just takes your bag. It's just, like, like you're stealing a police bug. It's like, the, he doesn't even know what's in the bag. The guy's an idiot. Okay, almost got him. Whoa! Oh my god, this guy's trying to pull some Assassin's Creed right here, okay. Oh my god, when I get when I get this guy, this is gonna be Okay, not in the mood for this. Give me back the bag. Okay, oh man. Did you get the bug? I got it. Our surveillance team reports that you should be able to get onto the roof from the construction site next door. Whatever you do, don't let them see you planting that bug. No shit. Okay, so now we gotta go back to the, um... We gotta go back to the Golden Koi, which is Winston's mom's restaurant, and we're gonna be planting that bug. And for people that don't know what a bug is, it's um, it's a term for like a listening device. Oh, there's this health shrine here. Um, bugs have actually, or listening devices, have come like a long way in like technology. People would be very surprised how small um, uh, listening devices can be. A listening device can be like so small. I'm trying to think of like what would be a good example. I mean, it could be in the back of, like, a phone case, and, like, you might not even notice it. Man, this is, you know, 2012, so when this game is taking place, so it's, um, even, you know, 10 years later, technology is still rapidly advancing. But, like, back in the day, um, uh, I know undercover cops, they would have, like, listening devices in, like, cigarette packs. That was like a, you know, a cover that they would have, and they'd put the cigarette pack down on the table. People wouldn't really think much of it because it's a cigarette pack. But you better make sure that nobody else tries to take a cigarette from that. Okay, let's get up here. How'd the bus thing go? Good. Well, you can fight, huh? Yeah. What? Nothing. Hey, don't try that shit. You got something to say, talk. I don't... You can't walk on. It's too easy. This guy comes out of nowhere just when dog guy is pressing us. So you can see Conroy doesn't trust, um, uh... Doesn't trust, um, uh, Wei. And suspects that way he's a rat. I'm getting some noodles um, from the kitchen. You want some? Sure. Why not? What kind? Okay. They're fucking noodles, Vincent. Whatever's back there. I kind of feel like pork. So get pork! You want 
You want pork too? Okay, now this. You gotta find the right. Yeah. I almost had it. There we go. I have to hold it like this. Okay, I have to hold the two down. Okay, put this screw back in. Okay, we're good there. That's actually a very smart place to plant a bug. Like, you know, who is going to, like, um... Who is going to, um, uh, you know, look through the vent? Okay, let's see here. Okay, I gotta get out quickly. I got like a minute left. There we go. Bug has been planted. So here we're going to return another statue. I found one of your statues. A snake. I am grateful. I understand your sister passed. She was an addict. She couldn't kick it. It's not a very interesting story. I suppose. Though in light of that, your chosen career is rather interesting. To me anyway, knowing who you are. You asked me once not to lie to you. And I think in return, you shouldn't ask me about my career. Fair enough. What would you like to learn? Let's see. Disarm the enemy after tackling them um, uh, from a sprint. Um, hmm. A follow-up strike on stunned opponents. I'm gonna try this one. Okay. I'm ashamed to call myself your teacher. And this will dis uh, this will disarm um, opponents. Okay, there we go. I'm embarrassed for you. Please stop by again if you find one of my statues. So this is what I love about sleeping dogs is that all of the collectibles have a purpose. You find the statues, um, he will teach you new fighting moves. If you um uh if you find the lock boxes, you find money in them. If you find the health shrines, you get health upgrades. So this is what, you know, more open world games should learn from this. That when you have a collectible in your game, when you get all the collectibles, you should get some kind of reward. I just hate when games have collectibles in them, but there's no reward. But there's oftentimes a trophy. So you gotta get all the collectibles in the game to get a trophy or an achievement, but there's no reward for them. I don't mind going for collectibles, but the game should reward you with something for getting all of them. Inspector. Away. I'm glad you're here. What do you know about the underground racing circuit? Well, they drive fast, occasionally they crash into something. Yeah, and occasionally they end up killing each other. Hmm. Well, that's manslaughter at best. But these last couple of files don't feel like manslaughter to me. It's got more of a deliberate feel to it. You want me to check it out? Yeah. Get into the circuit and see what you can find out. All right. See you. Text Jackie about the race scene, okay. Jackie, who should I call about racing? Ace, he is a friend of a friend. Big race head. I'll let him know you'll call. Call Ace, okay. Yeah. I'm Wei. Wei Shen. 
You up for a race? Yeah, sure. Long as you don't mind losing. So now we're gonna use the impounded car for the um for the uh for the um race and this is somewhat realistic actually because um at least I know police in America they will oftentimes use seized cars from criminals for some kind of operation undercover or an unmarked car. So this ha has actually happened in the past. I'm not necessarily to infiltrate a race, but um for other undercover operations they've used um criminals' cars. this um surprise there's no activity on the highway whatsoever getting in the lead here. Boat. Okay. Third place. These guys are a little harder to catch up to them. Wow, these street racers really have connections. They're able to shut down entire highways just to <laughs> just to race. And also remember, guys, that in Hong Kong, um, they drive on the left side of the road, and the um, the steering wheel is on the right side of the car, where um, the right door. Where in um, in my country, in America, it's on the left. Um, steering wheel's on the left, and we drive on the right. So that. Um, uh, that uh, confused me a bit, but I've gotten used to it in this game. When it first came out in 2012, I was messed up by that, but um, I got used to it. There we go, win. Good win. Lucky for you, those Amaz kept getting in the way. One in a million shot. You want a rematch? Yeah, sure. I'll take you. <laughs> you ready for the big time? Let me know. Everybody knows I'm the best driver in the city. Everyone. Oh, yeah? I'll take you down too, hot shot. Just as soon as my car is fixed. That's hot shot, who's the um, best racer in the city, but there's something suspicious about him. Broke into the street racing scene. Okay, so there's this is a case that we're working on right now. Oh, we got enough for an upgrade. Wait, do we? Oh, we're like right at the upgrade. Oh, that sucks. Help, Way, I need your help. So this is that's Tiffany. And uh, Tiffany is, um, uh, remember, she's uh, Wei's other girlfriend, so Wei can date multiple girlfriends at the same time. And uh, she's the um, the singer at the club, remember that. You okay? No, I'm in big trouble. I really need your help, please. What's wrong? It's... it's this... A gun. Yes. 
Charlie made me carry it in my purse for him. He didn't want the cops to find it, so he made me take it. And now he's gone, and I don't know what to do with it. Charlie, he's one of Dog Eye's people, right? Yes, and you took over, right? So in a way, the gun is yours too. You'll take it, won't you? Sure, I'll take it. That's it? That's, uh, that's your big problem. Yes, thank you so much, Wei. I knew I was right to trust you. Don't worry, Tiffany. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Wei. You're the greatest. Call Raymond. Hello? Raymond, I got something. What is it? Something for ballistics. A weapon belonging to one of Dog Eye's men. Do you know Charlie Peng? Wait, how did you get Charlie Peng's gun? Never mind. Can you use it? Now, um, this also is somewhat realistic, um, because, uh, you're probably wondering why is she carrying a gangster's gun? This actually happens very, this is very common, where gangsters and criminals, they will give guns to, like, their girlfriends, and they'll tell them, like, hold on to this. Like, um, uh, the police are looking for me, I don't want them to find this as evidence. So that's very common, where, um, criminals will actually give, like, family members, like, a weapon or a gun, um, something, um, uh, something that they know can be traced back to them, but they don't want to lose it. But, I'll tell you something, this is still stupid criminals. Because most criminals, when they don't want the evidence traced back to them, they'll dump the gun. They'll dump the gun in like a river, lake, the ocean, um, a place that nobody's gonna find it. But by giving it to somebody, that still puts them at risk. It's because these criminals, they don't want to get rid of that gun. So yeah, this is just very, uh, actually very common where uh, criminals will, um, uh, they will uh, give um, weapons to like um, uh, friends and family members, girlfriends, um, uh, just so that they, they're, uh, they're scared that the police are going to find it on them. Okay, let's pick this here. Got it. And for people wondering why I talk about this so much or why I read about a lot of these things, it's because uh, when I went to college, I graduated in law for a uh, bachelor's in law enforcement technology, but I ended Andrew? up doing YouTube. What are you doing here? Where's Raymond? This is something I wanted to handle personally, Way. Do you have Charlie Pang's gun? Yeah. I'm sure you've noticed that guns are something of a rarity in Hong Kong, not like in the States. This particular gun is quite important. So who's the dead guy? I was hoping you'd help me with that, actually. Officer Shen, take up a firing position. Okay, you ready? So now we get introduced to guns. All right, listen, it's simple. We'll have to recreate the fight. <laughs> You think you can rip me off? Oh, hang on. Let's just talk about this. Fuck you. Let's go. You can What is it? Damn it. So this shows what happened a drug deal that went bad. First, he was in cover behind the barricade. Get down behind that barrier. Good. I want you to put some bullets in a few things. There's also blind fire, um... Alright, good. By now, the van must have appeared on the scene. Where are you going, Wei? Oh, well... Okay, so oh, I guess this guy I gotta take down. Then he must have run to over there. Shooting at the guys over there. There was a shooter. Firing shots from the passenger window. But he couldn't get a clean shot, so he pushed forward. This is really cool. 
when you vault shoot. Keep going, come on. One more thing. He would have tried to get away, but Charlie disabled the car. Your weapon, officer. Good firing way. Pendu! What are you doing? I told you he wasn't important. Now he is. He's going to help us nail Charlie Pang. It's for the greater good way. You understand? I don't think I do, sir. Way, I know who you are. You're just like me. You do what must be done. Hmm. Local PD is on their way. You should go. Now you see, you get to know Pendrew a little bit more. Um, so, um, you know, the guy, the guy that they're framing is a scumbag. He's a gangster. But um, uh, he didn't kill that guy. So that's, um, uh, you know, you begin to think about it. Is this right, what he's doing? I don't think so, really. Um, you know, the, I understand the guy's a bad guy, but um, uh, that's... He's not the one who did that. He was at the place, um, but he didn't kill that specific guy. Okay, let's see. Uh... Uh... Let's see, what do we got here? Okay, we'll do this then. Gotta lose the cops, okay. We just found out that Mrs. Uh, Chu's restaurant got hit. Oh, this now. We received a tip on Hot Shot's whereabouts. I parked a truck nearby so you can uh, bug his car and tail him, okay. Ah! No, no, no. Damn, I'm being chased really badly right now. Okay. Get in the city van? Okay. Go to Hotshot's last known location. So remember, this is, like I said, Hotshot is the best street racer in Hong Kong. Insult me? That car's crap! Let me fix my car up, then I'll take it. Easy. Fine, it's your funeral. And notice what he said to him. He said to him, notice it's your funeral. That's, uh, that's, uh, kind of relevant. Not much. You? How's your dad? Okay, so now we gotta plant this bug under his car. This will be used to track him. Come on, where is this? Oh wait. I'll tell you about it later. Got you. Pick you up in the corner. Okay, let me move my camera over because it's it's um messing me up a little bit here. Um Where are you? Ah, got it. Oh great, another one? Got it. Okay, now we get back in the van. What do you think you are? 
Okay, now we just gotta tail him. Oh shit. Nass. How's the race second, huh? I still own it. Hey, you know this guy, Wei Shin? He's supposed to be Sun on Yi. Every time I turn around, that guy shows up. And usually the cops aren't far behind. Started racing the other day, talking tough. You think he's a rat? Or on the cover. They had a problem with that a little while back. You think they kill a cop and the police just go away? So now he's in trouble if he is. I mean, in K, what do I care? But if I was you, I wouldn't let them see you do anything and walk away. This town is full of morons, Naz. It's up to me to put them into place. Yeah? Why? Punk by the name of Ace, talking a lot of trash. Now the fool actually wants to race. No accounting for people's intelligence these days. You gonna take him out? Uh-huh. Motherfucker won't know what hit him. Tell people he's gonna take me down? What? Don't worry. If he races me, they'll be scraping him off the pavement in sticky little pieces. Looks like you have little choice, huh? So now, um... On. Yes? Inspector, it's Way. Hotshot's gonna race Ace. And he's talking like he's not gonna let Ace make it to the finish line alive. Do you know where it went? Not yet. Hey, one other thing. Hotshot and his friend Nas suspect I'm a cop. Nas Singh, the drug smuggler? You know him? Yeah, I know him. He's an informant for HKPD. He's the one that put us on to Hotshot in the first place. <laughs> Fucking guy is playing both sides of the game. You want me to tell him to shut up? No! I agreed to help you, Inspector, but not if it gets me killed. Do everything you can to keep my cover intact. I'll deal with Nas myself. All right, Way. All right. For now, let me know if you find out anything about that race. So Naz, um, uh, he's that um, the um, uh, the drugs, uh, the drug dealer that was at the beginning of the game. Remember, he gets arrested with Way. So Way was with him at the beginning of the game, and now he's a police informant. But he suspects that Way is a rat. Back in here. Okay, obtained a murder intent event. Broke into the street racing scene. My curry fish balls will blow your mind. Fish balls. I know you want fish balls. I'll take some, thanks. Tell everyone you know, my curry fish balls will blow their minds. So this is gonna be one of the best missions in the game, and um, remember that this is um, Winston's mom's restaurant got hit. What the fuck's going on? Dog eyes shut up Winston's mother's restaurant tonight. Winston, I just heard. Your mother? She's, she's fine. But two of our people were killed, and a couple customers were wounded. The police are there now. Wait, wait, he went after your family? Hello? Everyone's outside. What are you doing? You're fine. Listen up! We're hitting a switch up on the waterfront. All his trucks move to that place. It's how he makes his money. I want it burned to the ground. Siwa runs the operation. Put that hum gun in the shallow grave. Hey, don't turn my ear. Stop uh, Winston, are you sure about this? Of course, I'm fucking sure. Look, what's the chairman gonna say when he finds his warehouse floating in the ocean? He's just not gonna like it. But there's no way Dog Guys walks away from this. So burn the warehouse, but take Suha alive. Put him to work for you, and give the chairman a bigger cut than he was getting from Dog Eyes. Okay. Okay, okay, do it. Bring him alive. Right, boss. So Dog Eyes, um, Dog Eyes is in the same gang, or the same uh, triad as, um, as, um, a uh, Winston. They used to be Dog good friends when they were um, younger. People. Yeah, no kidding. 
but um, he, dog guy done. says now shut up the um. With your hands, uh, Shan? Let's see what you can do without. Shut iron. up his Winston's Look, mom's on. restaurant Shouldn't and, uh, and shooting anyway. two of They'll their guys got in. killed and a few and customers need got Su wounded. Wild live. He's worth the fortune. Oh, we're going in shooting. This is dog guy's biggest money maker. They're not gonna give it up without a fight. But you want me unarmed? You're the new guy. Once you're inside, find your own gun and use it. Believe me, you better have some bodies on you before the night is over. I want to see proof that you're not a cop. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one test that matters. So you want me to kill one of Dog Eye's drug dealers to prove it? All right? It'll be my pleasure. Go to the back door. I'll look around. You wait for my signal to attack. So, um, remember that Winston and Dog Eyes are both Red Poles, which Red Poles are kind of like captains in the Triads, but the Triads are, are more loose, um, uh, loosely, um, they're not as connected as, like, the, um, Italian Mafia, for instance, and so, Winston was in charge of the Night Market, which the Night Market pays protection money to Sun on Yi, and, um, Dog Eyes had control of this factory, which is, um, produces illegal drugs for the Sun on Yi. And they both give a cut to the chairman, who the chairman is the boss, or the dragon head. And remember what Wei said. Wei said, do you think the chairman is going to be happy when he finds his warehouse floating in the ocean? Um, so, uh, Wei basically told him, you know, you know, burn the factory, but take a Siwa alive. Siwa's the guy in charge of the drug plant. He's definitely destroying these guys right now. Who the fuck is this? Oh, whoa. Well, That was shocking. This now. Ooh. Oh. I think we just killed someone. There, we disabled him. Learned that move from the, um... Martial artist, uh, martial arts instructor earlier. This is epic now. Okay, so now we got a gun. We're gonna see some gun combat here now. I gotta be careful, I don't have that much ammo. Ooh. 
Okay, here's Siwa. Shit. Fuck. Siwa, you're coming with me. Fuck you! You're not taking me alive! Stop! Ah! Alright, light it up! So Conroy started bur burning the place before uh, Wei gave the order. Stop! Goddamn chasing me! I like how Wei had a, a motorcycle helmet ready with him just in case. Whoa, okay. Look at how many cops there are. Now this is one of the coolest parts of the game is a mid-car carjacking. Or I should say mid-bike carjacking. Fucking done? Okay, okay, I'm done. What are you doing? Shut up. You know what you just did? You're dead. You're dead. Look, I'm not afraid of dog eyes. Dog eyes? Motherfucker, I get paid by dog eyes, but all my product goes to Big Smile Lee. You wanna fuck with him? I just did. You dumb bastards got any idea how badly this is going to fuck things? Hey, hey, ask me if I care. My pro oh, I wanted to wait until he finished the conversation, but he just decided to make a run for it. Man, that wasn't smart, like running away from the car. Yeah, that definitely was not smart. Motherfucking me, you. From tonight on, your partnership with Dog Guys done. Take a ride with me. We can talk about the terms of your new partnership. You did good. Here, a little token of my respect. Keep this up, and there's a lot more. I get the feeling things are looking up for the Water Street Boys. Thanks, boss. Hey, man. Look, I don't do this often. But, uh, I'm sorry. I was wrong about you. You show your true colors tonight, brother. So that is, um, uh, we earned both cop experience and triad experience on that, um, on that mission. But um, uh, that was one of the best missions in the game. But I guess, I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. We do have a gun right now, too. Um, uh, but guns, you can only find them on, on enemies. You have to steal them from enemies. That's how you get guns in this game. 
So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the series, do drop a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.